everyone. Welcome to the Receipt Podcast. This week brought to you by MeUndies, Ring, and Calm. I'm Gus. I'm Gavin. I'm Burberber. I'm Becca. And I'm Gus. I'm, I'm a little freaked out. They, they, they put the teleprompter down on my camera. Oh, that's just oh. the camera. Yeah, it looks weird. I'm not oh. used to seeing that in front of me. Weird. Should I mean, we, I'm gonna, do you I'm gonna, want us to put it back? I need up two for you? mugs. I need. I'm gonna have like stage fright now. <laughs> <laughs> what I do with my hands? It's like I'm painfully aware that I'm on camera now because I can see it. Before it was just like a screen normally. Does having the monitor showing you not throw you off ever? Because that's like that's not really it. Like that's not really in my line of view. In my field of view, I have to turn like this to see it. Yeah. So that's true. I don't get to see it. When there used to be one over there, it would throw me off. Did you get rid of it because you were sick of looking at yourself? Eric got rid of it because he was sick of me looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it was Eric. Someone got rid of it because they were sick of me looking Whereas at it. Whereas me and Gavin have both the chat and our monitor right in front but of it's us. It's right by your camera. There's a little behind the scenes look. We call this BTS <laughs> for uh, Rooster Teeth Podcast for the inner workings. Uh, BT. BT? Are you playing Death Stranding? Yeah, dude. That seems weird. Have, 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 have either of you... Played no. any Death Stranding? No, but I've seen a lot of clips from it. Dude, people keep asking me if it's good, and I have no idea what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? It's because it, here's what I did the other day. <laughs> I took a dump, made some grenades from it. Incidentally, called number two grenades. Number two grenades. Then did a piss, and I got the grenade from that. Number one. And grenade. then I took all my shower water, and that was a grenade as well. Number zero grenade. And, and then um, I died, threw up a bunch, and then I took a a box of cum. And I tried to deliver it to a different Wait, how'd you place. know it was cum? It just said it was sperm and shit. Oh, okay. Wow, I, this game is not at all what I would have is, expected. It is a bizarre game. I think I played it for, I did. I don't think I liked the first three or four hours, but I was like, I'm going to keep playing. Like, I like, That's impressive. I, because I like uh, Hideo Kojima games. Right. I was like, I, I, I have faith that this game's going to get better. And the game doesn't ever, the game never went to where I expected it to go, but it's gotten to a place I'm okay with. It's it's like it's very serene. It's a beautiful game. It's very calm. It's a very great score. If you just like want to walk, have it, you encountered Troy Baker's character yet? Yes. I hear he's very scary. He's got like a gold skull mask. That's awesome. And yeah, like, and he can like teleport all around. Yeah. Shit. It's, he's a, it, he's a <clears throat> villain, right? I think. Are we allowed to? I guess. I mean, at, at this point in the story, in the he's portrayed as the villain, but who knows how it will play out. Noted. The, the I, villain I, are the villain. The real villain in that game is Rocky Steep Incline. <laughs> <laughs> you have and, to monitor your shoe health. And oh, wow. if your shoes get too worn out, you have to change them. Well, I would say the the biggest enemy. Yeah, exactly. The biggest enemy in the game is the rain. Yes, because it makes you old. Anything that gets hit, touched by the rain ages. Like time passes very quickly. Okay. It's I, time for. I think it was Miles who tweeted out the other day about Death Stranding how. It's a really cool game mechanic how you could tell when you're on terrain versus like a constructed oh, like surface. A, yeah. Like there's a uh, haptic. Like a crunch to your footstep. Or like it's just, in the game it just feels different. Yeah, like when you're running on that versus <clears throat> like yeah. a paved road or something. Yeah, it's like a lot that. of like getting greedy, overloading your guy with too many boxes to the point where it's like twice his height and then stumbling around and somehow he most of the time doesn't slip over. But sometimes he, he does. And then when you fall, if you do fall, your baby starts crying, so you have to pick it up and you have to start rocking him. You have to rock the controller to simulate rocking a baby to calm it down. Because that's how you do it, right? And the baby's crying comes out of the controller. Yeah. So it's just like your lap starts crying. You're like, oh, <laughs> gotta shake it again. Very realistic. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's just so, it's like such a meticulous... Then all of a sudden it starts crying again, you gotta stick it up to your nipple while your controller <laughs> drinks your breast milk. You gotta get the, the third party attachment. It yeah. also asked me for my birthday when I started the game. Oh yeah. What was that about? It, it asked you for your birthday because it said that Dooms affects certain astrological signs more strongly. Mm. So, uh, I'm a Pisces. So it said <laughs> I'm affected by Dooms more strongly than, uh, than, uh... Other players You're would a cancer, be. right? I am. Yeah, both you On and I society. Are cancers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it has like tons of satisfying moments. It's but really like weird. like when you get through an area that's hard, it's like you, it's a relief when you get out the, the other side of the rain and all the BTs and stuff. Mm -hmm. But isn't that a like, sign of a really good game? Like it could have yeah. like that much of an emotional and I guess toll on you. Yeah, I guess so. It, I mean, it comes down to what. Does that defeat the purpose in the end? Like if you come out of it yeah. feeling very empty and exhausted, or <laughs> well, like, like why did I want a diversion well, that, in the that, first place? That's, <laughs> that's what I think about. Like when I'm frustrated, I think I paid for this. Oh yeah. Like <laughs> I'm paying. I paid money for this, and I'm investing time in this. But that's the thing is, I keep, I keep, uh, stop playing it, and I'm usually confused. 
and then I'll keep doing other stuff, and I'll be like, I want to play it again. I want to keep going. <laughs> there's one part, one part where you have to get from like one city to another, but there's like a mountain range in the way, and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't figure out like how to get through the mountains without dying. So like I had, I had to put the game down. I was so frustrated. And then like several days later, I was like, okay, I think I can do it now. I'm gonna try again. Trevor's it was been, the exact same situation. For Trevor's me. been playing the shit out of that new <clears throat> Star Wars game that just came out. Is that all good? I haven't touched it yet. I'm waiting to finish Death Stranding before I get to that. It's it's fucking beautiful. And the mechanics of it are so interesting. I've just been watching him play it. Mm -hmm. I've Do also been watching him watch The Mandalorian just so I could see Baby Yoda. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only thing I care about. Just I'm not I'm not a big Star Wars person. So. Do you watch him play games a lot? Um, yeah, I wouldn't say a lot. It's it's every now and then. Usually we're doing something together. But if there's a game he wants to play, um, I'm like I'm just cool, just chilling here and watching you play. And just does he like, pretend like he's streaming? No. Do you throw Twitch bits at him? No. <laughs> Although he does, like, every now and then he'll say him. something to himself or, like, about the game, and I think maybe that's just, like, years of being an Achievement Hunter mm. and having to fill the void while playing video games. But who knows? I'm entertained by it. It's like watching a movie. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. So it's also, like, a way to spend time together without having to, like, with still giving him time to do that. True. Yeah. Compromise. So you're, uh, you're digging The Mandalorian? You're digging Baby Yoda? I only watch it for Baby Yoda. I'm, like, not paying attention the other time until... My eye catches a glimpse of something green and adorable on screen, and then I start watching. <laughs> <laughs> but Trevor likes it. It's not Yoda, though, right? It's not. It's a. You're not going to be like so. the it's baby who's the same species, species as Yoda. But I don't think they ever said what species Yoda was. Yeah. Yeah, I asked that once in the podcast, and yeah. I don't think I got an answer. So it's just baby Yoda. Have you been I watching it? I've seen a little bit. I saw like Brian Posehn in the first episode, which was a little weird. Oh yeah. Um. But yeah, we've been incredibly busy the last couple of weeks, so I haven't been home much. You Are you traveling? To say what you're doing? Um, yeah, I was traveling. We went to Disney World, and then we went to Dallas this weekend. Nothing especially exciting. It's just that was a cute post you did on Twitter yesterday or the day before. For the, by the decade. The decade. Yeah. Thank you. That was, cool. that was uh, actually, I guess, technically today was it like twelve oh five a.m. I stayed up too late looking for the right photos. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, this actually this kind of writes itself. All right, here we go. Was it really so, a 10 years to the day? Not to the day, I, but Michael and I started dating at the very beginning of 2010. Oh, wow. And here we are now. Gosh. And I did everything I could to break you guys up, and it just didn't happen. What was it? Like, every time you would visit, <laughs> Becca would end a relationship or, like, something <laughs> would go wrong in her current one? Yep. Every yeah. single time? Yeah. And... You know, I guess it was just like Gavin would come every six to twelve months and cycle <laughs> that my relationships were on. But the expiration like, date like hit. Probably three or four that happened, and it was pretty funny. One of them being like ending an engagement, so it was very remarkable. And Gavin yeah, got to I, and I know on, to that. I know on this one, I I gave you warning. I was like, just so you know. Yeah, you didn't want to meet him. I'm uh, I'm gonna come back. <laughs> Hold on to your people. I I think you didn't meet Michael until I think we were already married. Probably right. Yeah. It was it like a, I think a it was holiday a party? Bernie's New Year's party. No, it was it uh, uh, Jeff's holiday party oh. one year? I'm wrong. I took a picture with him. Yeah. Yes. Because I do remember, I think this is when I first started working at Rishita. It was like that first New Year's. And I remember you were coming with Michael and I knew Gavin was going to be there. And I remember thinking, uh oh. It's not going to end well. <laughs> it's, this is not good. <laughs> I was like, they can't interact. They have to stay in different rooms the whole That's time. So funny. <laughs> it might have been the same year. Yeah. That's the year that, no, maybe I'm thinking too long ago. I don't know. I remember liking him a lot because he's like the most European American that I've met. He's like what really that, what sarcastic. He has and like, extremely dry humor, like very mm, English style humor. Yeah. Um, you, don't, you don't, you have to worry about offending him and oh no. he will not worry about offending you. It's great. Yeah. He's offended everyone because <laughs> he's so dry that most people don't pick up that he's joking. So they just think he's an asshole, mm. which he is, but he's also joking. Yeah. But that's the ultimate cover. That's right. like the ultimate camouflage. Yeah. So many times like people will just like we had a solicitor come to our house one time and was trying to like basically kiss Michael's ass to get money. And Michael was being sincere, but he somehow still came off as like this dry <laughs> asshole. And We're not it, interested in whatever you're fucking doing. it turned into this guy being like, you fucking nerd. Like <laughs> just railed on him. He's <laughs> crazy. And Michael still gave him money somehow. But, <laughs> yeah. what? That's the ultimate sarcastic I remark. I that Girl Scout never came to your house no again. <laughs> you never got those cookies. <laughs> no. Thin mints. Shit. I, do you guys ever wish that you kind of like 
not developed a personality trait, but like decided on who, you, what kind of person you wanted to be earlier on so that you could be that way now. Like Gus, you from like very early on in Rishi's were known as like, not mean, but grumpy or mm-hmm. like you t- like put up with no one shit. Mm-hmm. So now you could say things and do things and it's like totally in your brand. Right. But I'm not as grumpy anymore. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. But like if you, if you act that way, you're not going to get shit for it. Right. That's true. That's, that's like true. part of your personality trait. So like I already claimed that. Yeah. And I can. I, can I mean, I totally it. did that when I moved countries. I guess you, you reinvented I, yourself. I just added a few traits. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I was known for just being very quiet. Yeah, you were. You've like, changed. Shy. You were also quiet. just a. You were young. Yeah, and then when I moved here, I was like, I guess no one knows that I'm like the shy, quiet one. I could just not be. You're in America. You <laughs> you get eaten alive if you're the shy, quiet one. Yeah. yeah. You can be pretty quiet still sometimes. Like right now. <laughs> so I did that. <laughs> Um, what about you? Is there something you had in mind? I don't like I guess it's more difficult for Like women to say things that are mean or like come off as bitchy because then we just get labeled as bitches um, <laughs> to, to put it simply, but like I look at people like Gus you and Michael who could say these like Terrible mean things, but people think it's funny yeah. just because like that is like <laughs> your personality joking. trait like, Lovable asshole. Like that's I how mean, we were at Comic-Con and that kid wanted Michael to yell at him. <laughs> I'm like, why is no one asking me to yell at them? Come on, man. You gotta, you gotta be unafraid to uh, unleash your uh, inner bitchiness. I mean that works. 2020, new Barbara. Do it. That works when everyone's in on it. But I've been in situations with Michael where like most people know Michael, but what, like one person doesn't. And they're like, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> this guy's really yeah. angry. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I don't know. What about you, Becca? I don't know. I feel like I've established, at least like within my family, a reputation of being like <coughs> bitchy mm. to where when I'm not being bitchy, they take it wrong and still think I'm being bitchy. Are they like, something's up. <laughs> yeah. You're hiding something from us. <laughs> where I'm like, no, it was sincere. I'm sorry. No, I do like your hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> now, is your hair supposed to be that frizzy? Oh, bless your heart. That's a look. <laughs> <laughs> what I do wish, though, is that I'd had a better like sense of like how to do my hair and makeup and not pluck out all of my eyebrows from Girl. an earlier age. I, I look yeah. at pictures from we act just I, there's like this trend going right now of uh, like you at the beginning of the decade right. versus you at the end, which is your your Michael post. But just like seeing so many people do things like that, like over pluck their eyebrows, where I did the fucking like raccoon eyeliner thing up mm-hmm. until I was probably 17 or 18. But was it in then though? Was it just like a thing of the time? I, I, I mean it, it was. I feel like tons of style. people had thin I just like eyebrows. never really wore makeup. I didn't know how. So I didn't exactly make mistakes, but I look back I'm like I could have looked a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you and I who have like fair hair. Like we have no eyebrows or our eyelashes or at least I don't. So I got to yeah. fill them in all the time. My eyelashes are so blonde. Same. So it's knowing to do something makes you look a whole lot different. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's weird, you know, that you're talking about that <clears throat> kind of trend that's going around right now where people are posting, like, yourself in 2010 and yourself in the new decade. Uh, I didn't do it just because it's like I already feel there's so much video of me out there anyway, as it is. You also look the like, exact same. I'd, I'd, I'd look way shittier now, but <laughs> you can you can watch me slowly age and die. Like if you have an <laughs> afternoon, you can put together a YouTube playlist and watch me slowly become more decrepit. <laughs> Could someone make that, please? <laughs> just gu- gust through the years. Gust dying in slow motion, <laughs> or gust dying fa- sped up. Gus. Just get 10 videos, one from each year, from 2010 to current. So it made me wonder, like I was trying to think back, like, because I couldn't remember exactly when we started the weekly video podcast, like doing the podcast live. Uh, I had to look it up. Mm. It was, wasn't it, t- t- end of 2011 or early 2012? It was September. The, it was September of 2012. 2012, gotcha. Or maybe it was October, right, end of September. I remember because I think I was on one I, of the first ones on the, <clears throat> the set. What episode number was it? Like it was 185. Okay, that's like in the 170s. That's funny because I thought it was 175 and I looked and I was like, oh no, it was 185. What are we at now? Like 566? 570? 571? 571? Jesus. Yike. I remember it being weird when we did the first, because you'd already done video ones back in the day. Like, we did a like couple of pre-taped editions, ones. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then and then just like had the set made and all that stuff. And I remember it being like a huge deal. Like there were people like going like, oh, you know, good show guys. You have a great one. Yeah. I was like, we do this every week. Just... Not filmed like it doesn't really it shouldn't feel any much different. higher pressure when you're filmed. Well, it's different yeah. when you're live though Yeah, that too because you can't just sit like this or you can 
Uh, yeah, doing audio yeah, only podcast versus video podcast is a completely different vibe, and I I think that's why a lot of people tend to prefer one or the other. Yeah, because like with this kind of podcast, you're very aware of the cameras on you and the fact that people are currently watching it. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're just audio podcast, you could just like, yeah. The, I mean, the, the, the live thing I think changes it much more than the video thing to me. I think it's a video component. Just like I have to sit up straight and I like face yeah. the camera. We, I'm gonna have terrible presence in this episode because <laughs> I don't have a monitor to look at. There you go. <laughs> we had. We used to only do them on special occasions initially because it was like all me who had to wrangle and edit all that footage on my stupid shitty slow computer. It, <laughs> it, it took like three days to turn it around. I was like, I'm not fucking doing this every week. Why didn't you just make Brandon do it? Because he wasn't working in uh, broadcast stuff at that time. Is he in live action? Yeah. There, there, like, the podcast was only me at that time. Mm. It sucked. <laughs> it, it really sucked. And now it's all of us. Now we're now it's just all kidding. Of, it's, it's them. It's, it's all of It's a huge group of people sitting over talented, there. Much more talented, capable people. Is this the first one since Extra Life? Yes. Yeah, we were off. We had a pre-tape last week because of uh, Extra Life Recovery, and now we're back. So we can finally talk about it. Gavin, you're what? alive. Ugh. I'm alive. Oh, after my pulverizing with Dude, moveables. oh my god, that was <laughs> unbelievable. How many wheel spin things did you guys get? Like over a hundred? I think it was over a hundred again, Jeez. which is awesome. But those things, it's weird. It's like between the softest moonball that hits and the fastest ones that were hitting is like such a huge spectrum. Like you never knew which one you were gonna get. Like some of them were rattling the wood behind my head. They were coming <laughs> yeah. so fast. And I think the. Uh, it was either the first or second one that hit me in the testicles it was really hard. I think the second one that hit me in the balls, it kind of came in at the side and it, and it hurt for like an hour and a half. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Fuck. At yeah. least you didn't get slapped by Xavier Woods. That's true. That looked Man, way worse. Those were the weirdest slaps I've ever seen. They just looked way, I mean. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah I was watching a few of them <sighs> from over there and it was like rocking people's faces. Like they're, they were, you could like, so clean. I couldn't yeah. figure out because there was an option to do that or just get hit by a paintball. And no, none of those fucking men. Their penises are all yep. big, apparently, because they're all just like offering to get slapped instead of just taking a fucking paintball. And the whole time I'm like, you see what it's doing to each other. Stop it. What is this madness? The handprints and the bleeding. They're all pretty. Okay. <laughs> Take the fucking paintballs. Yeah. All right. that, that, that's, that's, that's good advice. That's good life advice. Take the paintball. Take the paintball. Paintballs hurt a lot, though. They do. Not a fan. And, and they leave an annoying ring. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a much body. smaller one. They also had like pads and stuff for your neck and chest and bits. So yeah. like that you had protection. This yeah, was just I, like I was, skin on skin. I was wearing like a full, because I didn't want to get hit in the heart with a really fast one. So I had the little pad on and my little nut thing because I can't take nut hits because of my dodgy bollock. And it still hurt <laughs> a ton. You all right? Your dodgy bollock. That's Could my you band. I, I got, I got shot in the balls once by accident with a paintball. Oh, that, with a gun? I was, I remember. Was that I, one that bounced off the it floor? It bounced. I was like standing on a paintball field and I was trying to determine like whether I was going to go home or keep playing. And I could see in the distance this paintball was coming. It bounced on the ground and bounced up just at the right height. It hit me right in the balls. <laughs> and I like, I bent over. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go home. <laughs> I like, walked right off the field. I love that story. Like, you oh saw it coming. God. I saw it coming. I picture like, you know, like in the Civil War when they shoot like a cannon and it just like tore, tears through everything. Like that was my own like, little Civil War cannonball. It bounced and hit me right in the balls. <laughs> This episode of the Receive Podcast is brought to you by MeUndies. It's officially the holidays and people are already shopping for gifts before you freak out about what to get your boyfriend who you've only been dating for four months or what to get to your, mail your mailman or the fact that you have to, you know, go to the mall. Just listen up. Uh, MeUndies is anything but ordinary. They have a gift for literally everyone in your life. And the best part is they deliver straight to your door with free shipping. Talked about MeUndies for a while now. I love MeUndies because they're so soft and comfortable. Uh, giving the gift to MeUndies is so easy because they have something for everyone, especially with their new holiday prints. Uh, MeUndies knows it's really cold out, which is why they're coming out with even more cuddly products. This holiday, cozy up in their new robes for men and women. Treat your feet in their new soft slippers and, of course, match the whole fam with their soft new baby bodysuit. MeUndies has a great offer for you listening right now. For any first-time purchases, you get 15% off and free shipping. It's a no-brainer, especially because they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So to get 15% off your first pair, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash roosterteeth. That's MeUndies.com slash roosterteeth. Thanks, MeUndies, for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. I don't know if you weren't here last year's Extra Life either, right, Gus? No. But you guys were here? Yeah, I came by. That's when I... Chris dropped Magnolia on her face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I did not know about that. Is Chris, what? There? Chris, Chris is here? Okay. What are the fucking... Wait, that's not pizza? Olive Garden? 
It's free though. Oh, true. So he doesn't get deducted <laughs> points. We, what are the odds? I didn't drop. Get on the do, do on the mic, Chris. Get over here. And we're gonna yes, hear about I was Garden about to clarify. That. I was gonna mention that the the fucking paintballs were frozen last year because it was so cold. Ooh. So people were getting hit by frozen no, paintballs, which is very dangerous. That's awful. What's yeah. up, Chris? Yeah. So so that was, I will say, it was an optical illusion. I, she, the baby rolled. She, she crumbled <laughs> to her face. Why don't we show the clip? <laughs> I'm sure it's somewhere. I have a gif. I've been sending but it a lot. I like texted you the gif. Yeah. The other day, you can probably find that. Uh, I I. The baby rolled forward <laughs> under my supervision. <laughs> I didn't drop the baby. Were you holding the baby when the roll happened? I was st structuring the baby. <laughs> was should, should you have been supporting the baby? This was a uh, five-month-old baby. Chris did not have the knowledge that they can't sit up on their own yet. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, but was you it, were was structuring it, the baby. Wait, so she was sitting and then just went boop. Yeah, yep. was it, wait, was it Clem? It was Magnolia. My, oh. Oh, here it is. <laughs> did it, and how Slide did and, it and she them. turned so, out great? Send it to me or send it to them. Okay. Didn't you say she, she turned out great? Didn't she? Yeah, she's great. All Very right, smart see? kid. She's uh, she's had a few falls. So were you there watching live when that happened? I was, but me, live it happened so quickly and it looked so not bad that I was just like, oh, ha ha ha. But then the footage started to float <laughs> around and it looked so much worse on camera. <laughs> <laughs> It reminded me of what was it two years ago when Michael brought Iris? No, it must have been three years ago when he brought Iris and was dancing with her. Two years? Oh. Yeah. I think it was two. Well, she's isn't she three and a half now? Two or three years ago. One of the two <laughs> doesn't matter. But uh, he was dancing with her, and like all the dads were watching, just like having a meltdown. <laughs> They're just like, "Oh God, the bean bags, the bean bags." <laughs> Chris, you were not structuring this baby. <gasps> was that? Well, yeah, and that was my problem. Because I wasn't, I was supposed to be structuring the baby. And How then do you it, structure a baby? I, I keep saying it, hoping that he'll explain <laughs> a little more. Well, you like hold, you structure it, you know, you get I it, imagine like, it being support. like, like you have like a beanie baby, and you want to just like make it where it like clumps, flumps over, <laughs> yeah, yeah, or it supports itself in some way. I want to see the clip. Do, do you all have that? Too. She sent it over. Um, so after after we see this clip, I want I want I want to hear from. Chris about the Olive Garden. I want to get an Olive Garden update. Oh yeah. Once once we see uh we should make like, boo, 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 boo. Welcome to Olive Garden call. News with Chris Demers. Yeah, you should make like a like a music cue and a graphics package. Like its own special. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It ends next week on the twenty fourth. It's almost done. It's almost done. Have you been filming? <clears throat> yeah. Good. We, I got we lots got of pictures. It. I got pictures of, of of like just about every meal I've eaten. And How many different Olive Gardens have you been to? Uh just one. We're, uh, you're it took you that long to come up with one? You've well, only gone to one location? I think so. Yeah. Because what? how many Olive Gardens are in this? There's town? only like two only like in, in Austin. I can only think of two in Austin. Yeah. And and I don't one of them is like really far away from me. Have you been with everyone here? No. We still haven't gone. I was gonna come Dude, with you, but you then you gotta do it because you're, you're running out of time. Yeah, you, know. you got you to you you got mine in. You gotta get the full experience. They really do know him. They know what he wants to eat. <laughs> yeah, no, that's why I want to go. Also to get. I, I've pasta. been. It's been. It's been bad though because I was I was out of town for a wedding, and so I haven't been. In, 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 I mean, I, I'm gonna go after this, but I just, I, it's just <laughs> you're eating pizza, dude. You're I was hungry. You gotta you're get your pizza. Yeah. pizza. I know. I, I gotta. I gotta get. I'll get there. I'll go tonight, like evening. The, it's five thirty, dude. I know. Like I'll go to like at like nine. It's open late, right? Oh, they're open yeah. till ten. Someone yeah. wants to know how much you weigh now. Have you gained weight through this process or lost? I don't think so. He's We've been weighing him every week, I think. Yeah. He's gone I from like one forty six to one forty five point seven or something yeah. like that. I tried to get the bachelor party to go to Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> the one you went to this weekend? Yeah, yeah. But it didn't happen. But. Shocking. <laughs> I wonder if it that would have been great though if I could get a whole bachelor party to go to Olive Garden. That should be that's that's bonus points, I think. Yeah, oh yeah, that would have been fun. Do you get a point for for every person who comes with you? Well, that's like a bonus like thing. It's like whoever's gotten the most like people to go. Gotcha. Yeah. But you're you're definitely at an advantage for that because you work with a lot of people. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, but a lot of people who don't want to put up with this shit. <laughs> All right. So are these the Oh, here's that... the video. Oh. Finally, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like <laughs> <laughs> it looks like her, her face trips the baby. He um, would puts his hand out and trips the baby. The baby would have caught itself <laughs> had your hand not been there. I, Wait, what? 
Who? Oh, no. <laughs> Isn't that your hand, Chris? That's it's your Chris's hand. hand but I, I, he holds back her other arm so she can't support I herself. I didn't mean to. I was looking That's forward. That's destructuring the baby. <laughs> No, to be fair, that was a good effort because he saw he saw her go. Josh and, and is immediately so concerned. <laughs> oh, now. He's like, oh. "Fuck, I could watch this forever." <laughs> the wasted really adds. Yeah. Oh. To it. <laughs> so she wasn't didn't cry or anything. Didn't even cry. Yeah. Didn't care. I don't so think I think that's the biggest indicator. Yeah. she was fine. Yeah. Yeah, you you it, you made a well structured baby that can handle. <laughs> She's very drops. smushy. She she has face. It pillows. sounds like you said that can handle drugs. Drops. Oh, she can handle and drugs, yeah. probably yeah. drugs. Too. Was Michael there? No. Did he Did he find out about it? Yeah, I was like, oh god, I should probably like tell him because he'll <laughs> see this floating around. I like, thought, it looks bad, but it wasn't. I She's only got about a, Michael Jones. Two and I was like, bruises. Why the fuck would he care? <laughs> Sorry. Just, uh, small face bruises. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well. Uh, all right. So wait, wait, when you say the thing ends, the 24th? 24th. Are we not weighing you this um, week? I mean, you that, can weigh me if you want. Is it worth it? Do we, I don't know where the scale is. Uh, we don't have it at the moment. We don't have it at the moment. Here, I could, Chris, uh, stop my by. limit is 147. I'll pick you up. Stop by next week. Because uh, the 24th is a Sunday. Okay. <laughs> so stop by on Monday and, uh, wait, I have you on here. Okay. Are you yeah, on yeah. next week? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. You're on the podcast next week. Good. I must I must have known <laughs> that it ended at that time <laughs> or something. Okay, good, good, good. We'll the, talk about There's apparently a subreddit called Children falling over. <coughs> well, that's amazing, but also probably very sad. I hope no one gets hurt. <laughs> I like the funny ones. I it, the, some of them look like it's I don't know, not Bye. funny. Bye, Chris. More. Bye, Chris. And Blaine. We'll talk about Watchmen soon. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I want to I want to go back for for just a bit uh, to something we talked about earlier. So. The Mandalorian, like Disney Plus launched, I guess, since the time we did our last uh, live podcast. Uh, and <clears throat> Disney Plus, the, the app on my Apple TV is kind of garbage. I don't know how you all watch it. Got a new Roku. Okay. On the Apple TV, if you hit fast forward, it doesn't fast forward. It skips ahead 15 seconds. Oh, so you it's have like, to like hold it down? No. Then you have to that. press it repeatedly. And then so it's like at you, what increment? Is it like frame by frame? 15 seconds every time you hit it. Well, I don't well no, but you're saying you have to hit, press it repeatedly. Can you get... You can queue up a bunch. You'd be like... Say you want to fast forward seven seconds. What oh, you, no. But what are you saying? Every app does that. No. There's usually you, a, you, you two can, options. Yeah, you can like you can skip or you can fast, fast forward. like enable a fast but forward. Netflix just does skips, doesn't it? Uh-uh. -uh. No, you could do both. Do you have a Harmony remote? It's probably... I no, I got that fault. shitty thing that slides down between my cushions. The one that came with the Apple TV? Yep. It's got a good battery life, though. <laughs> I feel like if I want to fast forward a ton, I just click and fling my, just fling the playhead around. Maybe I'll try that. I hate that that thing. Done that. It sucks. Make more than one button. Um, yeah, but aside from that, and aside from the fact that everyone's in an uproar over something that's been going on for a while. Everyone's mad about The Simpsons old episodes being in 16 by 9 now. They've been slowly doing this for a while. Like, remember they had that whole Simpsons World website where you watch any Simpsons, which is gone now, by the way, that Disney Plus exists. It, it would default to 16 by 9, but I guess you used to be able to toggle to 4.3. Mm. They just removed the 4.3 toggle, so everything's 16 by 9 only, which cuts off jokes. Okay. Oh, does it really? Right. Like, sometimes visual gags fall out because they have to punch in. So you mean they'd be off the top and the bottom? Right. So they, cr they crop to 16 by 9. They don't stretch. <laughs> Some it, they they do it both Zoom? ways depending on the scene, huh? Um, I don't like the, that. The other problem, I think, the bigger problem is that jokes have been cut for time sometimes. Like I'll be watching it, like, oh, there was another joke there that is gone, and cut I feel like for time, is right? right. I don't know why. It's like there, I know there's another joke there that just doesn't exist in this version. I I, I need to pull pull out my old DVDs and do a <laughs> side by side. And to, just to prove I'm not crazy, because every time it happens, I feel like a fucking lunatic. I feel like it's, what is it called, the Mandela effect? Yep, Bernstein Bears. <laughs> yeah. I, I need to know, because I watched, what episode did I watch? I watched, uh, oh, the one where Bart breaks his leg? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have the pool. Your epidermis like, is showing. Right. I was like, I know that they cut, like, three jokes from that episode. That's what I've sure seen. sure they're not in other episodes? It's very specific. No, I know what you're talking about. It feels like there some of the episodes are edited. Have you Googled it? Because you know people will be talking about Were they about offensive? Are they just not aged well? Is that why they cut? <laughs> well, they did cut some stuff that How hasn't aged well. But I saw that disclaimer. 
that they put in front of their older content now too on Disney Plus that mm-hmm. says contains like dated jokes and references. Yeah, I think they should. I, th- I don't great. think they should ever cut it. They should just leave it and be like, by the way, this aired in a different time. Yeah. That, Good luck. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of what they did. Like they they they, they <coughs> don't edit it. Um, but on, uh, some people were complaining that on the Disney Plus, like in the description, they just say like these are old references, but mm-hmm. they don't they don't say that it's bad. They don't out, outright say that yeah. it does it's no longer reflective of uh values today. Mm. Makes sense. Um but they, they yeah they were saying that they should maybe be a little more strong about it. Sorry, I was trying to look up one of the <laughs> one of the jokes that <laughs> They also say. only have I oh, mean they, they have most of the seasons but there's a lot of seasons missing. They, that's all of them, right? I think it's all of them, but they didn't put the Michael Jackson yeah. one up. Nope, there's some seasons missing too. They have like I think I that, was, one, that was their whole selling point. One, two, three. I think they're missing either three or four. And then a couple other seasons, like randomly, like 11 and 16 and 17. And then. Well, I'd love to tell you, but I can't fucking log in on their goddamn website. Maybe I could do it. <laughs> I feel like everything I've watched on it looks really good. Like I always. It does. Especially with, when you compare different apps like Hulu, Netflix, HBO, they have different. I guess top quality bit rates. The fucking and Apple and Apple you were telling TV me that one. Apple TV is like beyond Blu-ray bit rate or like it, like it's almost like, twice e- like between half, one and a half and two times. Yeah, it's variable, so it's hard to say. Yeah, it looks damn good. It looks so good. When I read that, I texted you because I know it's like yeah. that's a big thing you're it's, always it's, complaining it's about. It's my biggest issue with the HBO stuff because they this looks just full of all compression. Right. Never mind. Yeah, they they have all. all the seasons. I guess it, just like on the app on the TV, it was showing I, I a know few ta- of them missing. I know what you're talking about. When okay. you scroll through, sometimes it looks like three or four is missing. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. They have some work to do on their interface. That's my only criticism. There's, there's no way to watch, at least on the app, on the phone. Um, if you start watching something and like close it out and then come back to it the next day, there's... Yep. It doesn't show up like you have to search for the thing again and then it'll pick you back up But there's no like continue watching mm-hmm. or well, that's like, why that they have that list. like TV Section of the Apple TV though where it just puts everything that you've been watching in the same place I guess I was oh, on the phone on my phone. Yeah, I was watching the parent trap <laughs> <laughs> the, original the original one? no the, the one with Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. So the original was the first thing we put on like I really? got home from work and Michael had it on the TV because Clem loves that like let's get together Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. so, so mm-hmm. yeah Showed her the source of that. There was a, a, a that couple... movie's fucked up. It's a little messed up. Like those parents are horrible, and people just like gloss right over that. The Who, whole situation. They divided identical twins, separated them at birth, and t- didn't tell one that the other existed. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Very fucked up. I mean, they have different continents. They were probably never gonna meet. Yeah, but the, like, if you had a twin living out there somewhere in the world, wouldn't you want to know that? That we even well, kill probably. them and become more powerful. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fucking shit. I feel like I should follow up with something else. Uh, Disney did say they're going to fix the 16 by 9. They're going to give the 4-3 toggle option in early 2020. So, mm. the people have spoken. So, uh, just complaining. But you can't uncrop in the app. No. So, how is that going to be a toggle? I assume that they'll give you the choice. Like in Simpsons World, which existed before, you could toggle if you wanted to watch in 4.3 or 16.9. Was so it like... They'll probably upload both. Prime and then, Video does that. We can watch in HD or 4K. It's two different entries in their catalog. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I've never got the hang of all the Prime Video stuff. Like some stuff you can't get to. You have to like... You can't even get to on your phone. You have to go onto a desktop computer to get it to appear on your Xbox and shit like that. Do you uh, know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Because they don't want to share the revenue. Oh, is that why? Yeah. Oh, wow. Just, just do it. <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah. <laughs> so it's, annoying. It's, it's, it's so stupid. Um, there was, uh, speaking of Parent Trap, there was a video that someone retweeted of um, this couple getting married, these, these two men. And right as they're being like announced, like you may now kiss the groom, and they do, um, they pause for a second, and then that music from Parent Trap comes on, where they do that secret handshake that she does with her butler. Mm-hmm. And they do that, and then they kiss. It's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> and well, it's, it's just funny that I saw that like the day after I watched Parent Trap. Are they siblings? <laughs> no, <laughs> they're getting married, Gus. But they have a secret handshake, like the from the Parent Trap. I never seen the Parent Trap. Oh. The one of the girls who lives uh, in London, spoiler if you haven't seen the parent trap <laughs> after like twenty years, um, the twin that lives in London, she has a butler, and they have a secret handshake that they do, and so the other twin had to learn that handshake 
because they switch places and she goes back to London. So which one of the married couple was the butler and which one was Lindsay Lohan? I don't understand what I don't understand why they're doing <laughs> they this handshake. They just it doesn't do the make sense handshake to me. because it's like it's this fun thing. <laughs> Music plays and there's this whole routine, and people who've seen the Parent Trap know very vividly that handshake and the song that goes but, along with it. But why? I don't know. Maybe they both like the Parent Trap, Gus. Maybe they were identical twins separated at birth. There See, that's what I was getting yeah. at. There's a porn about it somewhere, <laughs> guarantee. It's a stepbrother. <laughs> you see that video on YouTube a couple of weeks ago, like what it's like to be a stepbrother in 2019? Yeah. <laughs> no. no. So good. No. It's like this girl who's dressed like in her like silky PJs and he's just trying to play video games and she keeps bothering him. She's, she's like, like, stepbrother. Stepbrother, I need help with my homework. And like she'll come over and he's like, God damn it. Like I'm in the middle of a fucking game. <laughs> Leave me alone. He's, he's like, why are you wearing that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, was, it was such a fucking good video. Great I'll concept. Pull it up. This episode of the Rooster Podcast is brought to you by Ring. This season can be a whirlwind of deliveries, visitors, and holiday travel, so it's the best time of year to upgrade your doorbell and keep an eye on home, no matter where the holidays take you. Ring helps you stay connected to your home from anywhere, so if there's a package delivery or a surprise visitor, you'll get an alert and be able to see, hear, and speak to them all from your phone. If you're on the go this season, whether it's across town, across the country, you can check in anytime for some much needed holiday peace of mind. Uh, I use Ring at my house. I used to keep uh, myself, my dogs, you know, everyone I care about safe. I like being able to keep an eye on whatever's going on around me, whether it's people or those damn possums or raccoons. I never get caught off guard. Thanks to Ring. I was watching some guy earlier. He was putting a flyer on my door. I yelled at him. Uh, Ring has a special holiday offer on a Ring starter kit for you right now with a Ring video doorbell to an emotion activated floodlight cam. The starter kit has everything you need to start building a ring of security around your home, no matter what this holiday season brings. With Ring, you're always home. Just go to ring.com forward slash teeth. That's ring.com forward slash teeth. Additional terms may apply. Thanks, Ring, for sponsoring this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast. Uh, so I guess Valve just announced a new Half-Life game, by the way. Oh. Wait, what? Huh? They announced Half-Life Alex, a VR game. Oh, wait, they're... Gonna unveil it this Thursday. Like a full game? Not just, not just like a tech demo? We're excited to unveil Half-Life Alex, our flagship VR game, this Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And so soon after the Index. Yep. Why didn't they launch the Index with that? <laughs> or like delay the Index or... Yeah. Or maybe this game's not gonna be out soon. They're just gonna unveil it. Maybe it's still in development. It'll be another five years before it comes out. Interesting. I'll play the dicks off that. Yeah, I, I've, uh, I would too. <laughs> It'll be interesting, but I, I feel like we've talked about this before. There's no winning. You can't, this game cannot live up to any level of expectation. <laughs> Everyone's going to hate this game. Regardless, this could, they could release the best game in the world. Oh, I'm, I'm like digging a hole for myself. This could be in the compilation later. They could, do, they could make the best <laughs> game in the world and nobody would still like it because it's been so long. Like everyone's built up in their mind that of what Half-Life should be. I just love the fact that if they did make the game, it would trounce all news for like the entire year. Like if E3 was on and at the same time Valve were just like, we're making Half-Life 3. No one would give a shit about anything Microsoft or Sony were doing mm -hmm. because that would be the biggest news. That would be a, the trending news. And they have that power and they won't ever use it. Yep. It's been a long fucking time, hasn't it? Um, 2007? 2007? Yeah. F episode 2? Jesus. Uh, this, okay, I guess this <coughs> Thursday, when they're unveiling the game, is the 21st anniversary of the original Half-Life. I never wow. actually played Half-Life 1. <laughs> really? It was a good game. I think it was like the first game I ever played on my computer in college. Half-Life? Yeah. Like, I have a memory of like being in my dorm room playing it. Did you play Half Life Two? Mm -mm. Hmm. Did you? Yeah. I haven't played any of the Half Life games. They're really good. You should get should caught up before Alex comes out. I should, yeah, apparently. <laughs> Did you ever play Portal? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Actually, it's it's funny. I played Portal Two before I played the first Portal, uh, because there was co op, and I think it was Miles and I. This is before I moved to Austin. We he, we played the whole Portal Two co op together online, and then I was like, F I fucking love this game. There's more. There's the first portal. So I went and played that by myself. And now I'm like, now I just want more. I feel, I feel like that's how, how was that? I feel like that would be a step backwards. I feel like Portal was a great game, but Portal 2 was so much more. Yeah, I definitely like I, I think I enjoyed Portal 2 more. But I mean, it's the same mechanics and it's like puzzles and yeah. strategy and stuff like that, which it's I, just such a good story. It's I, a great story. Portal 2 is one of my favorite games. The only thing better about Portal 1 and 2 is the song at the end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which I, when I got there, I was like, 
<laughs> you get it. You're That's part of the club. It. Yeah. It's always nice when you get to play games way after the fact. Most people do. God, I remember. I haven't played Portal 2 since it came out, but that's one of those games where I remember playing and being so <laughs> mad and frustrated. Then you figure out the puzzle. You're like, oh, I'm just really stupid. Yeah. yeah. I've just been dumb for like so yeah. You just have to walk away, <laughs> get out of your rut. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm so dumb. Yeah, you definitely get too <laughs> close to it. You get like stuck on one path. It's like, oh, I'm just doing it wrong. I felt like that about Limbo, too. Uh. Oh, yeah. I never got that achievement to, was it five deaths or less for the whole game? Yeah, uh. I think it was five. Yeah, I can, I've never done that. Have you tried? No, God, no. I'm not. I think Bernie did it. I think he did. That no. stresses me out so that, bad. I hate achievements like that because you spend so much time and you've got like four deaths and you're so close and then you die and it's just yeah. time wasted. Oh, yeah. And it's then you got to the like start over again. I can't do it. I can't. It's like Death Stranding. Yeah. It, 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 it makes what, you anxious. That's how it blows my mind when you get these speedrunners doing like big single segment runs for pretty long games like a game that might take six hours mm -hmm. I think there was one <laughs> There was one guy who was on world record pace for Donkey Kong 64 Like six hours into the run and in the fine basically the last thing you do in the game is just punch King K. Rool in the face and instead of hitting punch he <gasps> did a backflip which, which caused him to miss that round of damage oh, no. and he lost his whole thing in literally the last thing he did in the game and he just has to start again. It's like, that was six hours of the whole game. 100% run. That kind of thing makes me, like, nauseous <laughs> thinking about. <laughs> I can't remember the guy's name, but it's like... Was it well, right? probably more famous for that a... than he would have been for having the fastest run. Maybe, maybe. And that game is no joke. There's a lot to do in that Donkey Kong game. Huh. But that's like, I mean, there's so much time. I want to say that's like a whole day wasted, but it's way more than that. Because yeah. you've spent so long preparing and learning how to do it and getting ready and then... That's like when you're building, like, a Domino's whole set and, like, someone knocks <clears> it over as you're in the middle of setting it up. And then you got to start over again. And that kind of stuff makes me cringe so bad. That's the worst <laughs> cringe for me. Yeah. I'm just, like, I'm sick to my stomach thinking how much time was wasted. <laughs> like a sandcastle that gets kicked over. Oh, God, oh I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I guess I didn't go to the beach very often, but I never really you? got You? No. I, I never really got into... I never understood, I guess, like building sandcastles or something. It just seems like why not? It seems so frivolous or pointless. Like <laughs> it's going to be destroyed anyway. <laughs> I was playing with nihilist blocks. child. So it's building Lego. But that's I don't it's know. It's soothing. That's like it's the it's the uh, smoothness with, with Lego. Yeah. You're like at home. Like with sand, you're all sandy and gross. <laughs> yeah, but then you like give the little bucket a pat and it comes off all smooth. And you're like, that was the best one I've ever done. Is there any better feeling than like being in your bathing suit as a kid, like nice and dry, like lying in the sand? That's the best. Fucking warmth. Everything like because the sand's hot. Yeah. yeah, just like that relaxing feeling of just being in the sand. Mm. You didn't like that as a kid. No, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, plus also, I don't know if you ever went to the Texas beaches. Oh, yeah. Like growing up, they're they're yeah. so Horrible. fucking gross. I guess you don't. You can't not. lie in the sand. It's like, oh, here's a seaweed bed with some yeah. dead fish pillows. I mm. thought I I thought it, when I was a kid and I would go to the Texas beaches, I assumed every beach in the world had tar on it. <laughs> I assumed that you just went to the beach and you picked up clumps of tar and cleared a space to like sit down in. All right, I guess I'm not referring to these kinds of beaches. I guess more so like coastal beaches. Mm. We're on the coast. You mean like real East, oceans, west coast? Yeah, not like gulfs, LA <clears throat> or in uh, like Australia, like any of those beautiful with, beaches. Like, clear water. Yeah. What was the What was the furthest north you ever went in Canada? Ooh. <laughs> Ottawa? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've only really been to like a handful of cities in Canada. It's Ottawa, Montreal, Toronto. I've actually never been to Vancouver or anywhere on the West. <gasps> really? Yeah. Jesus. Vancouver is awesome. Yeah, I've only been city. in cities in and around Quebec and Ontario, basically. I think I've been further north in Canada than you. Probably, because I've never been to anywhere like in Calgary or anything, anything like that. I've been to Edmonton. Yeah. Which is fucking up there. It's cold. And cold. <laughs> it's so have you been cold. to more places in the US than Canada? 100%. I'm the same way with England now. Yeah, I've been. I've been there to are like a lot more places in the U.S. States. To be fair, right? I think yeah. there's there's more options in terms of like, well, weather wise, definitely. <clears throat> like you go anywhere in the U.S. and it's still fairly comfortable most of the year. Um, but also just like stuff to do and population mm -hmm. in Canada, like the ninety percent of the population lives within a hundred miles of the border. So like if you're not Somewhere there, there's not a lot of people to see or things to do. Is that just because it sucks and it's cold? It's just cold. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice omission there. But yeah, it's fucking cold. So most people stay <laughs> further down. <laughs> By the heat. <laughs> yeah, we're we're using the Americans to yeah. warm us. <laughs> the warmth from uh, from the United States. Our fossil fuels. Exactly. Do you see the um, speaking of fossil fuels? Ford unveiled their electric car. No. Mustang. It's they they're calling it a must. Well, they say it's Mustang inspired. They called it the Mach E. Oh. They put like a Mustang badge on the front of it. Okay. Weird. But it looks a lot. I mean. More power to them. It, it works. If it works, it works. It look. It looks a lot like a Tesla Model Y. <laughs> okay. I, I saw that meme today. It's like, can I copy your homework? Like, yeah, just change it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, it's a. Uh, but I mean, it seems like a like a cool car. What's the price price uh, point? Have they released that info yet? <clears throat> yes, there's a a bunch of different trim levels. Uh-huh. So depending on, I'm going to load it here. So depending on what you want, um, it can go. It's a big range. Where is it? Uh, okay, the lowest trim level, which is the Mach E Select. Starts at let's say forty four thousand dollars. Okay. The highest trim level, which is the Mach E GT, is sixty thousand dollars. Okay. But Ford still qualifies for the seventy five hundred dollar tax incentive for electric vehicles because they haven't reached that threshold yet. Nice. Uh, and so I it's think about on par with the Model Three. Yeah, and I think they said it's going to sh- start shipping in limited numbers at the end of twenty twenty. Huh? So I'm I'm excited to see more electric vehicles. Yeah, for uh, sure. Out on the road. Yeah. I snuck up on Barbara in my car earlier when you were walking in. Oh, oh I thought that was you. That happens so much. It's, it's crazy. So quiet. Yeah. I was like, was I walking into the building? You're or walking something? in here. Yeah. yeah. And then I just like turn around and there's like a car right behind me. <laughs> 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 Fucking shit. <laughs> I should have laid into the horn. Blaine did that to me earlier today, physically in the <laughs> office. I was talking to you. I was like leaned into the door talking to Gus in his office. And somehow Blaine got like between me and the door frame without so me weird. noticing. Because I was just talking to you, and then I went like this, and his head was like <laughs> right here. I don't know how he did that. I'm scaring myself all over the place today. You guys suck. It's Monday. What else are you gonna do? So when all the cars are electric, will mechanics go? Will they be? Will there be less of them, or will they just be mechanics who fix electric cars? I guess you'll still need tires, fix, yeah, right? Electric cars. We can't really do much. Wouldn't they the be engine, electricians though? at that point? Without there being one. <laughs> I think they'd still be mechanics. <laughs> Good one, though. Um, I, right. I think right now you don't see a lot of mechanics who work on electric cars because there's <clears> so few of them. Essentially, there's one major manufacturer. I guess, I mean, uh, Nissan also makes the Leaf, and there's a few others. Volt. But the I think, i3, right? Yeah. Does, does BMW still make that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they, haven't up, this, uh, they haven't updated the aesthetic on that in a while, though, which is weird. But I think as you start to see more and more of them come out, you'll have, like, independent third-party uh, mechanics and repair shops will do that kind of work too. Makes sense. I had to, I had to schedule a service on my car the other day because when I would accelerate, if I got to like highway speeds, like say I got to like sixty miles an hour, it sounded like my windows were down. Like you know how you get that air pressure, like the yeah. boom, 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 boom. Oh, even though my windows were up. Weird. Yeah, and uh, it, it, it went on for two days and then it stopped. So like by the time I got service. It was like the, the issue was gone, and the guy's like, "Yeah, I've never heard of that." And I was like, "I didn't think to take a video. I thought the issue was just going to keep persisting. Like I didn't yeah. fix it." He's like, "Yeah, I don't know what that could be." <laughs> how often no are, idea. You, are you supposed to get a new car, or not supposed to? Supposed. But like, how often is typical for people getting a new car? When your car breaks, I guess. Yeah, like it I had depends. my I had my Prius what, for, what you're in it for eight right. years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had mine for seven, and I would have continued driving it for several more years. I just needed a bigger car. Yeah, the I, the car I I got a car when I first moved to Austin, and I'm still driving it because mm-hmm. it's like it's it a nice works. Car. It works. If it works, I mean, <clears throat> not having a car payment is fucking it's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's money you can spend on just about anything else. Mm-hmm. So I think if you ever read like the personal finance subreddit, they're always like, you, if you can, you you if you have a car that you've already paid off, you fucking run that thing until it doesn't run it into until the it doesn't turn on anymore. Exactly. A lot so people it becomes more them. expensive to maintain it. Yep. Yeah. Have you seen the new um, Xbox plan that you can do? I think it's you, you pay like, like rent them. Or? Yeah, you, it's like kind of like a phone plan. No, where you like pay thirty bucks a month, you get an Xbox One X and like hundred games or like. Did they relaunch the... that program? Or are you talking about the one from like last year? Oh, has that been, been a thing for a while? Yeah, I think they. Oh. So they I, I, I think they're about, like, like relaunching okay, it because I heard about it in the news again. Yeah, I just saw Major it was Nelson's closed tweet for a today. While. I know, like months ago. But I, I think the minimum is like a twenty-four month contract. And there's no way that so would spending like seven hundred fifty bucks. A financially advantageous purchase for the consumer. 
Because well, they I mean, wouldn't offer it otherwise, right? It seems like it's set up to, in the end, make you spend more money. Well, I think if you play a lot of games, like if you play one game a week, that'll be cheaper than buying the Xbox and then subscribing to Game Pass or something, maybe. I don't really know. Like, do people still... How many people use Game Pass compared to buying games? Because I have no idea on... I, mean, I assume they don't release that information. No, no, they don't. Yeah, but I, I would have thought... Because I, I, I still buy games just because we need them for work and we just... They would all get bought on all the machines. But I, I can't figure out if I was just a normal game consumer again, would I just subscribe to Game Pass? Probably, so they, right? They, they, I have the details here in front of me. So to your point, yeah, they reintroduced it. Uh, they call it Xbox All Access. And it starts at 20 bucks a month for 24 months. So Which like, is for the S? 480 bucks. Uh, yes. That, it doesn't say. But you have an upgrade option. So you got, oh yeah, Xbox One S all digital. You can choose between the Xbox One X, Xbox One S, or Xbox One S all digital edition bundle. Uh, you get Game Pass Ultimate, you get an upgrade option to Project Scarlet for holiday 2020. Yeah, this seems just like how f phone plans work. Mm -hmm. I guess like if you don't have all the money for a console up front, this is yeah. a way to do it. Like, right. It seems yeah. like it'd be a good, like a, a month. if you're getting your kid a, Christmas gift and you don't necessarily have all the money in December or if you're the thing. type of person who likes to have the latest and greatest all the time It's like leasing mm -hmm. a car exactly. going back to the earlier exactly. discussion if you know you're not going to keep the car for a long period of time And you're gonna you want to upgrade. I know Jack used to lease cars Like very regularly. I don't know if he still does. I think he, he owns his now, but yeah, I remember when I first moved here I didn't know anything about Cars or houses or anything like that and he was talking about how he leases his car. And I'm like, I don't know what that means <laughs> <laughs> memory that sticks out. Anyone play Pokemon? No. I'm, I'm not a big Pokemon person. I've been playing, uh, I picked Sword. What is it, Sword and Shield? Sword and Shield. If there was a piece of DLC for that game where you paid five bucks and you could just push your rival in the lake at the beginning of the game so he would stop talking to you every 16 seconds, <laughs> I would pay the five dollars. <laughs> this is guy Hop. He's He's so goddamn annoying because usually the rivals, I guess they started making the rivals more friendly like it used to be He's like a scumbag and you want to kill him all the time. You want to beat him But th then I was like, oh, it's like friendly rivals, but he's just always around I, I, I feel like I played for four hours and he's still like r right next to me the whole game better or worse than Navi Then what the Navi Navi? From Zelda Hey, listen didn't play it Oh, mm. okay, what? What? He <gasps> <laughs> you just blew Barbara's mind. You, you did. You didn't play it. Which which one is that? Ocarina of Time. No, I didn't play that one. I didn't know that. I feel like I learned oh something about you. Oh my god! I don't know you anymore. The only two Zelda games I've played were Link to the Past and Breath of the Wild. Oh, those are the best two. Link to the okay. Past, I think, is my favorite. Let's not get ahead of so ourselves good. here. <clears throat> Link to the Past is so good. Yeah, I didn't play any of the N N Nintendo sixty four ones. Wow, sorry. That was my first game I ever played. Like you were saying, how you remember. Half Life, mm -hmm. like Ocarina of Time, was my game. That was the first, first game. game I ever played. I might be showing my age here. Was Pong? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm showing my age a little bit no. with that answer. Um, I'm pretty sure mine was the same. We had an Atari <laughs> set up in my parents' room when I was a kid. Yeah, I mean, it's probably a lot of people's and first Q game. Oh, I had Q. I I ate. So <laughs> I got Cubert for free. Uh -huh. When I was a kid, there was Donkey Kong cereal. And if you ate enough Donkey Kong cereal, you could send in the UPC codes and you get a free copy of Qbert. I ate so much goddamn <laughs> Donkey Kong cereal <laughs> that they sent me a, a free copy of, uh, of Qbert. Wow. wow. That's on brand Gus right there. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of the Receipt Podcast is brought to you by Calm. Sleep is important every day of the year, but around the holidays, it can get even harder to find time for those precious hours. You've got parties with friends and family, endless shopping lists, long flights. When you finally get into bed, you want to make sure you can fall asleep and stay asleep. Calm is the number one app for sleep and relaxation. It can really transform your nights, which means better days. 
On the call map, check out sleep stories, which are like bedtime stories for adults. They can help you fall into a deep, natural sleep in minutes. Stories are narrated by iconic voices like LeVar Burton, Nick Offerman. They haven't asked me yet, but maybe they will soon. I love getting in a good night's sleep, and Calm helps out in a lot of different ways. For a limited time, our show listeners can get 25% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash rooster. It comes with unlimited access to Calm's entire library, and new content is added every week. It includes hundreds of sleep stories and a ton of other content like soothing music from artists like Sam Smith, guided meditations, breathing exercises, and so much more. Get started today at calm.com slash rooster. That's C-A-L-M dot com slash rooster. Thanks, Calm, for sponsoring this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast. So have, have you always been a nerd? Yeah, yeah. Um, like different types of nerd throughout. Like a very intellectual school nerd, always, mm. very early on. Not a cool nerd. <laughs> Not a cool nerd. Not a it's cool much, nerd. It's a much safer space to be space space <laughs> to be a nerd these days, though. Oh yes. Yeah. I yeah. think it's thanks to the internet. I think it's cool to like what you want to like, and if that makes you a nerd, then fucking own it, my dude. Unless it's pedophilia. It's, ne- it's never cool to <laughs> like that. If you want to like something that is safe and doesn't harm others, <laughs> go go for it. <laughs> doesn't affect other people's lives in a negative way. I'm, the chat's going ballistic that I've never played the game. So around when I had an N64 was when I guess I was first like given pocket money. So I actually had to save up for shit and I just couldn't afford it. Mm. I, got, I got Donkey Kong 64 instead. You didn't Kong have like a, a friend who had it? No. You didn't have friends? No. I, actually, I never owned it. a Nintendo 64. A I didn't have one either. I had a Genesis. I went that route, Good but you know they like re-released the Genesis Classic <laughs> yeah. recently, and I was like, all right, let me look at the games that are on this, see if there's anything I'm nostalgic for. It made me realize I played the worst crap on my Genesis. <laughs> I, I played like Aladdin, like weird movie marketing games Dude, that Aladdin I bought with my own dumb great, money. Great though, yeah. Aladdin was a great. I, I, played I did love Nintendo that game. Aladdin, which was the yeah, bomb. That was, music. Pretty good. Like I just remember like the sword being like perfectly rounded as you <laughs> swipe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just like none of those games. I think I played like one of the games that came loaded on that Genesis Classic. So long ago. I know. I don't think I knew anybody in the town I grew up in who had a Genesis. I know there was one kid who had a Master System Mm -hmm. when the NES was out. But like when the Super Nintendo came out, I think everyone I knew had Super Nintendo. Nobody got a Genesis. It was a small town. So there wasn't one other guy. 64, I went PlayStation instead. So my brother like stuck with the Nintendo. But it was in his room, so I never... Mm. Yeah. Never really got to play. We yeah, had Segas and Nintendos <coughs> and then Xboxes. We didn't get I don't think we got a PlayStation until like way later. Yeah. I definitely did everything else first. I saved up when I moved to Austin, I saved up and bought a PlayStation. I remember I went to the Target down off of like 35 <laughs> and like William Cannon way down south. Because I lived off of Riverside. Do you guys have the Dreamcast? No. I, so I did, yeah. funny but, story about the Dreamcast. I my freshman year of college was dating a guy. And nice. he really, yeah, <laughs> so that's the cool story. I'm cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> had a boyfriend. So uh, he really wanted a Dreamcast and he would borrow his friends and play it. And it was like, I think, was that the first system that could hook up to the internet? It had an Ethernet yeah, port it on had, it, I you think. Could, you had a modem he or borrowed Ethernet, the yeah. whole Dreamcast? Yeah, like he was a nice borrow- friend. Yeah, I know. And then, like, <laughs> you it was just have a deal where like, he'd like, bring it with him and, go, and we'd play and whatever. And so Christmas came around and I had no idea what to buy him. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to buy him a Dreamcast. I'm going to go for it. Jesus. I know. That's a nice right? present. So I gave <laughs> it to that. him and he was like blown away. And then he fucking broke up with me. <gasps> like how soon after? Um, And I didn't month? even know you yet. A month later? <laughs> uh, And so I was like, he called me. He broke up with me on the phone, too. Yeah. And so nice. I, I was like, wow, okay, um, you're going to have to give me that Dreamcast back. And so I showed up at his door and <gasps> took it. I, he wasn't there. <laughs> Helped. And yes. His, his mom answered the door. I was like, hey, I'm Becca. I'm here to get something from his room. And so I got it. And she, just let you in. <laughs> she just let me right in. I walked out with that Dreamcast. Did you have to lie and say you were still together? <laughs> nope. I mean, she knew me. Yeah. Rebecca had to change her name. She's been on the run yeah. for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> what if he'd have what if he'd hidden it? I don't know. Because, I mean, he. I think he was scared of me. I think he knew that I wouldn't have stopped. And, like, I would have made <laughs> I his life hell. never stopped to get his dream cost back. <laughs> what is that, like, time period if you're dating someone and you get them something? Like, how long do you still have to date them before you feel like you're entitled to one, that? One day per dollar. 
Oh, damn. wow. So, so if it's a, like a $300 year. gift, it's like almost a fucking full year? Yeah. Yike. No. <laughs> I got you this car. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you, you can't die now. <laughs> Legally, you, you have to stay alive. We're together forever, bitch. I, I can't. I feel like I've never replicated the feeling of happiness. From breaking up with someone? Then, nope. Then <laughs> saving up for the new console. Yeah. I just used to, it, like, every time a new console come out, you'd just be like, oh, you got to pick, you know. Sony or Nintendo, yeah, or th then it was like Xbox and that. I was like, and then you get it. It's like, this is everything I've been working for my entire life up to this point. Yeah. Now I can play Halo. And it's just, just don't really. I remember when yeah, it's they, such a rare occurrence. Even now, I'm excited to play the new consoles. When, but when the Xbox, uh, the original Xbox launched, like J Jeff and Bernie and myself, we all like drove around town trying to find places that we could pre-order it so we could get it on day one. Cause, yeah. Like, I, I guess they didn't make very many of them at first, and it was a huge pain in the ass. We had to go to, like, so many stores to find places where you could pre-order. And then I remember being pissed because you couldn't just pre-order the console. You had to pre-order the console and, like, a game bundle. Yeah. It's like you had to pre-order, like, three games. It's like, I don't have that kind of money. Yeah. I, I remember that I feel like every Microsoft console, like, the 360, they had hardly any. I had to wait, like, four months to get one. And the original Xbox, they, like, they did this weird price cut. Where they were they were announcing a price cut, but if you got a bundle before the price cut, you actually still I would like did all the math. So I was like, if I get it now, I can I get another controller and two games. But if I get it after, and I remember being like writing all the math, so I was like, I gotta get it now before the price cut. <laughs> I think about that a lot. I mean, I think it you get jaded as you get older. It's that's inevitable. It's definitely an age thing, yeah. But there's also this like. For me, when I was a kid, I was delayed. I denied so many, like, just, like, creature comforts from living in a small town. Like, I wanted a CD of a cool band, and I couldn't find... Like, if I found that in a record store in, like, the big city at the mall when we went on a trip, I was like, <laughs> holy shit. Of a cool Like, band. I couldn't <laughs> wait to get home and, like, open it and read all the liner notes and mm -hmm. listen to it start to end. Kids will never open a CD and read liner notes ever again. For, like, that for, is not... And, like, I'll ask my kid what her first album is. She's like, I don't know. I've been streaming music since <laughs> I was born. Yeah. I remember... I, I had the same feeling. I remember specifically the Throwing Copper album by Live. <laughs> I bought it at the shitty-ass mall in Laredo. Mm -hmm. And I had to, like, the whole bus ride back home, <laughs> fucking looking at the book and the CD, be like, I'm going to listen to this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, I remember going to D.C. when I was... 12 and they had all these like older Green Day albums in this record store and I was like holy shit this is like some deep cuts can't wait bought them all hell yeah yeah pre-internet world was weird very weird so weird I was thinking that about that recently about like I don't know why I was thinking about like I guess it's this like this whole okay boomer thing right mm -hmm. like I think I was thinking about all the different generations like, I guess I, I, I guess I'd never really thought about where Gen X fits in into that even though I'm part of Gen X. I've never felt like any attachment to that because I'm like at the tail end of it But I was thinking about like how I don't identify with Gen X But I don't really identify with Millennial either. It's like I'm in like a weird gap between so those two You're called the Oregon Trail generation Oregon Trail generation. <laughs> yeah, where Is that you a real thing It's it's just like a, a casual term for People on the cusp where you were raised with technology, but it was a very different type of technology. Mm. Well, like referencing the game? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not the original. That's a different He didn't have. Yeah. It's actually Oregon Trail. <laughs> um, because. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it, it, I, that, that makes sense. Because I, I definitely feel like uh, I straddled both of those. I nice, hot. I don't feel any, what? What? any specific uh, <laughs> attachment to either of them. But I, I guess I never really thought, of, I never really realized that Gen X came right after baby boomers. Nice. Yeah, baby boomers are it's a huge generation. Yeah. Like now it's like every 12 Everyone years over 30. Or oh, you mean like the from like the, the beginning to the end, the like cycle. post war? Yeah, and it's usually it's not defined by any set time period. It's more like cultural shifts. But yeah, it's like from the war to Yeah, I just looked it up. Boomers the 70s. are between 44 and 64. I, uh, I saw that yesterday Donald Trump posted a picture. All right, chill out. No, I'm just, just breathing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Triggered? Jeez. He, uh, he posted a picture of him shaking hands with Ronald Reagan. And I noticed at the bottom of the picture it had been signed by Nancy and Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. And I remember I, I, I looked at 
Nancy and it was like the handwriting was terrible. I was like, wow, does she like have <laughs> like an issue writing? And I looked at Reagan's signature. It looked like he he wrote Reagan Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> like Trump, I mean, he posted he, it yesterday. He, he tweeted it. Yeah, he posted it yesterday. I was did, like, "Does that say Rich did Reagan?" Trump twice? sign it as Nancy and Ronald. <laughs> oh, he tweets so much, dude. I don't want to be able to find this. Uh, you can't yeah. find it, man. Just made me laugh. It's lost in time. Did Reagan have like <laughs> dementia or anything? Was he all right? Eventually, he did. Oh, really? You've, you've. Yeah. I mean, you guys have, you guys have signed autographs many times before, RTX and whatnot. Have you ever been talking to someone while signing, and then you end up writing what you're saying versus your name? Never with writing my name, but I've done that with other things. I do that all the fucking time. If I'm signing something and someone's talking to me and I'm responding to them, I'll start writing what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm I like, feel this like is I've not done my that. name. <laughs> I've typed that. Yeah. yeah. You you tweeted that uh, photo of your arm signed like in 2005 or something? Yeah, that's because I can't read instructions. And that tweet, I didn't notice it said, <laughs> post a picture I, of you from the beginning of this decade. I, I wasn't going to call it out. Middle but, uh, of the last decade. Instead of 2005. <laughs> I saw some people asking like, did they sign their names and their character names under it? It's like that's something that we commonly do to avoid the question of whose signature is that? Right. Mm -hmm. It clears up any confusion or misunderstanding. I do that when I sign Ruby stuff. I put Yang underneath my name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I put my character because people are like, who the fuck is Becca Fraser? <laughs> <laughs> You should make it like a bit.ly link that explains it and then sign the bit.ly link. Oh my god. Under or like it. one of those uh what's the fucking QR code? QR code. Just like a stamp. <laughs> just, just a QR code. <laughs> I mean, that was the time where Joel wrote Joel Heyman Joel, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, was, uh, that was at the first PAX, I think. That reminds me of that time. <clears throat> it's so mean, and I hate talking about it, but it makes me laugh at the same time. Where it was at San Diego Comic-Con, and at a lot of events, we're next to Mega64. And oftentimes, they'll come into our booth, and we'll go into their booth. And... Sean Chatfield was in our booth at this time and Joel was at Comic-Con, but he wasn't there at the time and Some guy came up to the booth and he's just like, oh my god, like I'm such a huge fan I love red versus blue. It's my favorite show like is Joel here. He's my favorite character And I'm like, yeah, this is Joel right here oh and I pointed to Sean and Sean's like, hey, what's up? It's me Joel Heyman. How's it going? <laughs> And the kid had one of those plushy grip balls. He goes, I, I would love it if you would sign this for oh me I'm god. such a huge fan oh, no. and he was like all right, and he like took it and he just wrote like Joel or something like that and then the kid left all happy and I was just like That's terrible. Oh, that's bad. And then the kid came back like 20 <laughs> minutes later and He's just like you told me that was Joel I think Joel he like looked him up or something like that, oh but then we got God. him an actual sign thing and all that. yeah, it was oh rectified But it's not not a very nice thing to do. <laughs> There's a video somewhere online of someone up, we were there, you and I, and, and Joel, mm -hmm. and this guy's just making you and Joel say stuff to the camera, like, over and over and yeah, over Yeah, that was at San Diego Comic-Con mm -hmm. in 2007. Yep. Holy shit. Yeah. I was probably wearing your hoodie. Yeah, you, th you might have been. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> filmed sideways, I think. I think I, I'm thinking of that video. And the, both like, of you have the, just the patience of a saint, of saints. <laughs> you, 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 it was like, okay. And then he, the Joel would like say, and be like, all right, and now do this line. <laughs> he would just do it. More. He's like, more, more. another one, another I'm one. I'm like, God, how many catchphrases do I have? <laughs> I'm just like racking my brain. At least he was telling you them, because sometimes. No, he wasn't. Oh, no, he just I asked you to like, do them? I'm all, oh, what else have I said? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how hard it is to think of lines you said when you're in that moment of just like, I've done a whole season of the show with this character, but I can't think of a single line. The whole line. video, I'm like, <laughs> well, here's this. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, wow, yeah, more. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> I look so pale and just horrible in that video because it's just like horrible lighting and then very high contrast and I was exhausted. I feel like you used to be more pale. It's because my hair was blacker. Uh, I had like pitch black hair. Is it not still pitch black? Now it's just like dark brown. Mm. I scaled it back a little. You're, we, <laughs> you and I have like the same natural color, right? I'm yeah. Like this yeah, pretty similar. Dirty blonde. Although mine's like pretty gray now. Mm. Um. But yeah, like I, I in every comment I've ever seen on that video is just like, God, Becca's a vampire. She's pale. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, thank you. I won't have skin cancer. Yes. I haven't I haven't seen that video in many years. Have you did you watch it recently or something? No, like a couple of years ago it resurfaced mm. on Reddit. Yep. I saw it. Very funny. What's on the internet never goes away. It never goes away. Come back every now and it's then. It's always nice when stuff resurfaces that way because you're like, oh, someone found this. I haven't seen this in a while. Yeah. Nice little memory. Uh, a little uh, blast from the past. 
Um, I saw I saw a couple of movies over the weekend. I never I never normally see movies, but decided to watch uh, in theaters a few movies. I watched them at home. Oh. <laughs> But uh, you know we have access to like some new releases that we're able to 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 watch at home. So thanks like, to our dad. Yeah, thanks to corporate. Uh, How do you get Warner that? Daddy. What you, have, you fill out? You read your work email. You fill out oh. twenty pages of <laughs> it forms. Is the, it is and download four apps. It is. Oh yeah, they were telling me it was like you need to do this thing. It's a like, lot. Two months uh, but overdue. Worth it. But then there was like a bunch of apps that I have to get. It I was is, like, oh, I can't. It like, is a process. It is a process. very much. Yeah. Someone just, someone in our office was like, "Are we protecting the queen?" Or something <laughs> like yeah. the level of security we needed just to download this app. Is it because of the content, or is it because of other stuff? Like, why is this? Why is this it's, it's both. Like, with with that security, you can access this content, but it's also how you access like your benefits, and it's yeah. not worth it. All that other. I shit. mean, we are owned by like <laughs> one of the biggest companies in the world that needs to protect their information and Get a better all of system. that things. Get that one is, app. Get it is one a app. good system. One app that works. How about that? That's that's as secure as it gets. <laughs> but uh, I watched. So I watched Doctor Sleep because mm-hmm. I'd heard so many people saying that like the the Ruby, like, stuff. The Ruby stuff was really in, a bunch in the of Ruby stuff in it. Apparently, uh, yeah. It's like I, I I watched the trailer and I was like, oh, I expected it just to be like a quick thing. It's in there quite a bit. Like almost every time there's a a scene in like the the girl's room, it's like, oh, you see, it's like, oh, there's several posters and there's action figures and like all this other stuff. It was, it was cool to see. It was a it was it was a good movie. I, th- I actually, when I finished it, I thought I kind of wish that they had made maybe like a limited series out of it. Yeah, like maybe stretch it out a little bit. The uh, the girl who plays the young girl in the film is actually a Ruby fan. Okay, oh. I I am so curious about like the story of how that came to be and if it was baked into the script from the beginning or like it was an idea. It's just, it's a very interesting. Yeah, very subtle. I imagine it was probably baked in <coughs> after the and, fact. Yeah. I f- there was one article floating around about, like, there's, I guess, a weird scene that is hard to explain. And it's like it makes a lot more sense if you're familiar with Ruby lore. Oh, interesting. pretty cool. I do know there's a lot related to the character Emerald. For So for people who watch Ruby, she could essentially create illusions with her mind and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So I don't know if there's anything to do that. I haven't yeah. seen Dr. Sleep, so I can't spoil it. Um but she has like an emerald action figure on her bedside, so I don't know if that, that's, that's exactly what I was going to say. That's yeah. the action figure that they had. Yeah, which you know, it's not Yang. It's not you know, could have chosen a better character, but you know, I'll <laughs> forgive you this time. Uh, but yeah, it was it was good. I I, I really had, I guess I had low expectations for that movie. So I was like, how good is it really going to be? You know, it's like, getting great reviews. A weird sequel to The Shining. Yeah, it was like, oh, this is. I mean, you can't really good. go wrong with Stephen King, right? Mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah, you can. The what? Langoliers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> was that a TV movie? It was a TV okay. movie. It's a little different. Um, but like, do you watch? Have you been watching the second season of Castle Rock? Like, that's even no, just like I didn't even know they were, and it's. Oh, I didn't so even good. know they were doing a second so season. Good. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> so good. No, yeah, it's good. I didn't even know. Like, we watched. Me and Trevor watched the first season and had no idea they were even making a second one. And then we were just flipping through Hulu one time, and it's just like Castle Rock season two. And I'm like, the mm-hmm. fuck. They just like blew this up all of a sudden. Just dropped it. Yeah, just yeah. dropped it on us. I have pizza in my teeth. Sorry, guys. Get dropped. The other the other movie I watched was uh, The Good Liar. I don't know if you've seen any trailers. It's got like Ian McKellen and uh, Helen Mirren in it. <clears throat> okay. Mm-mm. It's it, Never like heard of it. I, I watched the trailer and I was like, oh, this is like old man con artist like kind of movie. I bet it's gonna be like filled with intrigue and stuff. I was like, and I watched it. And I was like. Oh, this is a movie for old people. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it was, it was very just even keeled. Even keeled. I was like, oh, I was, I was kind of hoping there'd be a little more intrigue or a little more depth to it. It's yeah. like I love watching movies for old people on planes. <laughs> I watch all of them. Like that one with this, like some. There's like two of them. There's like some hotel. Got Judy Dench in it. All those old bastards. Oh yeah, and they're so nice to watch. They're just like, <laughs> oh, just fall asleep on this plane. <laughs> That's how I am with like Disney tween content, like Hannah Montana. I just would like put that on in the background while I worked. Yeah, and it's good. Like pleasant nothingness pleasant. Yeah. content, where it's like I could pay attention, but it's just like it's super like, insulting though to the people who actually worked hard on these movies that we just put them on. There as are fodder. people who enjoy it. At sure. least we're watching it. <laughs> kind of. the, the Good Liar did have like one or two like kind of violent scenes, so oh. maybe not quite so old people friendly. But definitely story wise, someone like, get the head bashed in. Someone gets their. F- is that a spoiler? Uh, <laughs> someone gets, anyone, does anyone? Someone care? gets their face shot in. Whoa. <laughs> 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 
Not just Whoa. shot. <laughs> shot in. And like they show it, and it's like, it's like, oh, <laughs> it's like a, a pulpy mess. And like and oh when, when it God. happens, we're like, oh, I wasn't really expecting that. Yeah, dude, dude. So I've been watching. I told you about it last time I was on. I've been watching Midsummer Murders, which is that yeah, yeah. English countryside murder show, and the language used in it would be so offensive now. And I, th- I was like, oh man, this must have been like really early nineties. It was actually the late nineties. But in the first episode, the, the one of the detectives comes across this guy who's gay, and he's like, oh yeah, he's clearly an ass bandit. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and, and it just Jeez. goes, and, and the other guy's like, don't be so, you know, yeah. But it's like you wouldn't even say that in a show now. Yeah. Ass bandit. No. It's it's incredible how how much what is offensive has changed in just since the nineties. In, like, like in, in your lifetime head. that you're yeah. able to say that. Like, yeah. I was like, all right, that would be like 60s shit, you know, like yeah. ma- making fun of gay people. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. How times have changed. Yeah. It makes me feel better, though, that we're like keeping up with the times. Like the fact that that seems crazy and we're at one point it didn't. Yeah. And, and it's worrying how recent that was. Yeah. Like my mom still will throw out things and be like, it was socially acceptable in my time. I didn't know. It's like, got it. I'm, I'm, like, a, I'm like an old Disney cartoon. <laughs> got grow with the times. I know you didn't mean something by it, but here's what it is now. Just stop. I wonder how like some of the classic Disney princess movies have aged. Like if there's oh, references man. or jokes in there that. I will tell you, Little Mermaid. Yeah. Not aged well. What, 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 what's in there? Um, well, she's 16 years old, which is very weird. Mm, yeah. uh, does she, would she get railed in it or what? She gets married in oh. it. Um, <laughs> and then like, it's just this whole weird, like, yeah, patriarchy someone rubs up on her and she lays eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the fish. stuff that was, uh, cut out of Fantasia? No. There's like. The original Fantasia? The original thing? Fantasia. Was it some race? There's stuff? like, yeah, some like racist centaurs. <clears throat> Yeah, like, like, are they racist or are they racist like, depictions okay. of centaurs? Gotcha, gotcha. So uh, they're not like racist against other <laughs> like h- humans or horses. No, <laughs> but they might be racist. They might be racist against that one centaur, though. Okay, like, <laughs> it's like it's like, like really, really, really bad. Is, is Fantasia on the Disney Plus app? It's it's so interesting though. I think it's like a fascinating subject because. Media hasn't been around for a ton of time in like video form or like audio form. It's on the Disney Plus app. And it's going to be interesting like what we say now that is is inappropriate in like 50 years. Mm-hmm. Now I'm sure, I'm sure it's like such a fascinating subject. Honestly, I'm sure even over the course of the 11 years this podcast has been going on. Oh, we've said oh, some yeah. that, sure, that yeah. really is, bad shit. Yeah. Right, it's like well. the whole thing's a learning experience. Like you don't necessarily even know how offensive stuff is until you meet people or talk to people who have dealt with derogatory comments the whole right. life. Maybe in a couple of years you won't even be able to say the word people. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that's not true. In 20 years we'll all just tele- telepathically communicate. Exactly. We'll use right. our shine. One could hope. Yes. <laughs> no, but like you never know what power is going to be given to a certain word until it's in that moment and like something becomes offensive or yeah. hurts people because of a certain meaning put behind it. So like... The best you could do is just learn and not do that anymore after that becomes a thing. Yeah, exactly. I think, yeah. yeah, I think that's a, that's a good way to approach it, is to constantly just be, be updating. Aware. Yeah, be that, aware. That's what surprised me so much about, because I feel like there's a path for a word. It's like, it's in common circulation, and then it will get shifted into like, just the antagonists and stuff use those words before it's then like shifted all the way out. Right. But that's what was crazy about the Midsummer Murders thing, is that like, that's the main character saying that. Like the protagonist is saying, oh, he's an ass bandit. I was like... <laughs> just wouldn't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's nuts. Um, we had a... It, since the last time we've done a live podcast, we also released uh, my plane incident podcast, <clears throat> The Pilot for First Members. Which, the fact that you didn't call it The Pilot, The Pilot. The pilot I texted the Gus. I was like, I hope you really leaned into the puns. And he's like... D- sadly did not. Did you not realize? I didn't think about it. Because I think by the the... What we released as The Pilot was not... The first episode we recorded, we had recorded several, uh, and then um, they, this is the one where, like, all right, I think you know, I think we kind of have a feel down for how it's going to go. And how's that, the response been? Really good, really positive. I, I read. I think there was some good feedback that you know first members had, and I think that uh, there were a couple people who said that they didn't like it, but it was less people than I expected, like mm-hmm. way less people oh, than I expected. Positive. Yeah, I was like, oh, I forgot what it's like to make something and not have people shit on it. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> So it was, it was it was nice. It's cool to see all these like audio podcast projects come out 
at like around the same time. Like we obviously have Good Morning from Hell, which if you haven't checked out, go check it out. Face Jam as well, available on all the platforms you watch or listen to your podcasts. And then Black Box Sandwich <coughs> is still just on the Rooster Teeth website. Yeah. But could non-first members watch it? I don't think so. Okay, so it's a first member exclusive. So we're, we're relying on you, first members. Give us your feedback. We need you. It was your friend. I'm working on a pitching one. I'm putting together a treatment. Just need to find time to think about it a little more. Mm. What's it about? It's about interesting facts. I like interesting facts. Can I be on it? Yes. Okay. Actually, when I was workshopping it with Jeff, he asked who I had rapport with, and I said, ah, Jeff and, and Gus and Gavin. And he's like, Gavin's too busy. <laughs> <laughs> he said, but if you can convince him to be on board, Look at that. Jeff for for you. <laughs> so I'm doing this like publicly to rope you in. <laughs> Good deal. She found a way. <laughs> yeah. Always Open is also back. Plug. Plug, plug. Got a dab. Dab plug. <laughs> We're back. We got a new set. It's nice and cozy. It's more of like a like a coffee shop living room kind how, of set. Mm-hmm. How many? How long had you been using the other set since launch? Right, because it's the first we've time we've like done changed this? things around. So we've had like the booth and table and like the walls and shelves. Stuff I feel like, like you that. got rid of the TV ages ago. We got rid of the TV because I could only do that prank at one time. You got it yeah. just in time. <laughs> you you came in at the the right spot. No, I mean like the we tried to make it a little more simple. The set became like a lot of pieces and a lot of setup time. So we like pared it down um, two seasons ago. And then, you know, we've been sitting at the booth for a while and it's like, it's, it's fun and it's nice being in that kind of formation with other people you're having a conversation with, but it also becomes a little constrictive. Like you can't really get up and do things. And so we're like, oh, if we want to have a podcast where people like can get up and go get another drink or like if they want to show something physically that happened to them, they could do that. They could get up and do it. I so it's a good idea. Makes you a little looser. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, it was definitely the most cramped format. Yeah. But not necessarily in a bad way, like it's intimate, but it's mm-hmm. like, yeah, you really can't get up. It definitely limits you in a way. So just want to make it a little more cozy, a little more chill. We're we're less structured now than we used to be. We're kind of doing less topics and just more free form conversation. So mm. makes it a little, a little more cozy. That's funny because I want to add more structure to this yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> to this one? Yeah. Why? What kind what? of structure? Like what? Like uh, recurring segments and bits. Okay. I always I always appreciate those. Yeah. Like the steak off? Like Gavin or Google, well, well, pancake. Yeah, Not, I mean those are I consider those events. Okay, events I'm more like segments. stuff that can come and go uh, on an episode. We have a bunch of ideas. We haven't started. We need to start them. Eric's not here right now. Maybe next week. We haven't done we'll Gavin do or Google in a while. I mean, B- Bernie was the the curator. I'll do it. Do it. I'll curate you. You want to do it right now? <laughs> but I, I, no, I guess. All right, Kevin. It's <laughs> one of my favorite things to watch back, actually, because yeah, it's, baby. Oh. Eric, the spirit of Eric it's like is here. Spirit. It's like the one time I get to write jokes for other people to say. Because uh. that's what pretty much all I'm doing is like I'm trying to just come up with the dumbest, funniest thing, and I don't even have to deliver it. Like Bernie would say it, yeah, and everyone else would laugh, and I just sit there in silence. It's nice. I have to, when we're playing that game, I have to not watch Gavin because usually your reaction gives it away. I've got better about it. You have. I used to laugh at the ones because Bernie used to not tell me the ones that he had. Oh, from Google. So I would be hearing them for the first time (laughs) with you and some of them are ludicrous. (laughs) (laughs) Google autocomplete something else, as we found out repeatedly. What um, what countries did Disney Plus launch in? Uh, Launched in this one. I think it's just... U.S., right? Someone was just saying in the chat they don't get it in the U.K. until March. Oh, man. Yeah. It's, maybe they said Europe. It's know. cool. It's cool. The vault is open. Uh, yeah. Is Disney There's Plus one movie, movie, like, I, weirdly, I, I, the <laughs> first movie I searched for wasn't on it. It's a very deep cut. Really? Yeah. Song of the South? The No Mobile? I figured, I knew Song of the South <laughs> wouldn't be on there. It's called No Mobile. It's based on an Upton Sinclair <laughs> book, which is very weird, but, um, I have it on DVD and Clem loves it, but we watch it in my car because my car is like a DVD player kids mm, system. Fancy. And not really though, because it's a DVD player. So <laughs> uh, so like it's just a pain in the ass to ever play it for anywhere else. But they don't have it. Maybe they'll add it someday. The so, first thing I watched was The Great Mouse Detective. Did you ever see that? It was like a Sherlock Holmes. I thing. remember I, like, I never saw it. Kind of Vincent Price is like, the bad guy, which I didn't realize when I was a kid. I watched The Mandalorian. Okay. <laughs> and then I've watched some Star Wars. So it launched in the US, Canada, and the Netherlands. Nice. And then this week it'll launch in Australia and New Zealand. It's it's also interesting that some of the stuff 
that they have isn't on there yet, and they put the date when it's gonna arrive. Like, you can't watch Solo or the most recent main Star Wars movie. Mm -hmm. they're, yeah, they're, I'm sure they're waiting for existing licensing. We yeah, one of them's like uh, 2019 I, December. One of them's 2020. Yeah, I think they have End Game, but they don't have Infinity War. We tried to watch the new Mary Poppins, and it said <laughs> January 2021. Oh my god! So did like, they just what the give fuck? away exclusivity away from their own app? Yeah, I think what happened. Surely they licensed it to other people as well as their own stuff. I, I think Captain Marvel was the first theatrical release they had that they intentionally <clears throat> did not license out, and they carv they carved it out exclusively for Disney yeah. Plus. So it was a fairly recent movie. I mean, that's that came I, out this I wonder year. If, I wonder if those delays are a factor of that this is a new platform, or whether we'll continue to see that as the platform I think, goes on. Or I, do you think everything will just be I think only Disney from Plus? From here on forward, it'll only be Disney Plus. I don't, I don't think they're going to license that stuff out yeah. to third-party platforms anymore. Interesting. But, of course, Disney also owns Hulu, so maybe you'll see some uh, cross-pollination there. Man, Probably fucking... more with, like, their TV shows and, like, kids' content. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I watched uh, Great Mass Detective, and then I watched some, like, 90s X-Men. Ooh. I haven't watched that yet. <laughs> Didn't even make the connection that was on there. I love that. Yeah, so good. I'm going to watch <laughs> some... Like my Saturday morning. Ducktales, probably, at some point. Woo! I spent like a year of my life tracking down every episode of Ducktales on torrents in the <laughs> year <laughs> 2003. <laughs> and there's one. It was my white whale. I like, could not find it. It was like one person on the entire internet had it, and they never signed on. They were never seeding. <laughs> yeah. How dare they? But now it's, it's all on yeah, demand. Yeah, now it's right there. You can just find it any moment. Uh, man, speaking of things that are coming back, Blast from the Past, have you seen the new Motorola Razor? Yes. It's pretty cool looking. I think it looks cool, but... Why? It's $1,500. Yeah, that's the other what? thing. What? Well, I guess the, the Galaxy Fold is like two grand, yeah. right? <clears throat> also, like, Folding iPhones phones. are around $1,500, Yeah, right? but it's an Android phone. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty cool I just, technology. I think I just made <laughs> a large part <laughs> of our listeners enemy. very, probably. Uh, very mad. Well, pro no, probably not, because... Us, the Apple people, are suckers, and we have to spend a lot of money on our phones. <laughs> Don't have to. Did you ever have a razor? I did. I had. I had a. Uh, I imported a special silver razor. It was like Ooh. like a like the Japanese exclusive color. So I had like I had to to like stand out and be cool. God, it's so fucking stupid. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> uh, would, but, you walk, would you walk around like this? Be <laughs> yeah, on the like, hold like, it up like I'm cool. on the phone. Uh, but yeah, my back then my normal phone was a sidekick. I remember that. So I would have to like swap between the sidekick and my razor. Uh, I still don't understand the, the hinge on that thing. How does that it's screen so cool, do right? that? It's like I know and it looks so like rubbery when it folds in and then it's just it's, It was like bam, you just like tap it and like flick it and it just like bam pops right out into place Yeah, I love it. I loved my sidekick. I hated my sidekick three. Sidekick one and two were awesome Wait, three, are you talking about? They put the ball. Are you talking about the new razor? And you're talking about the sidekick? Oh, I thought you were talking about the sidekick. With the I was talking about the sidekick. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it went. Oh, when yes. I, when I, I met you yes. for the first time in 2004, you had a sidekick. Ooh, and the, I don't. The two, I think, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, and it was like, I don't think I'd ever seen one. I don't think we had them in England. Mm. I was like, what is that? Look at the way that flicks out. And you're like, <laughs> you had the full keyboard. <laughs> and, you're doing, awesome. and you were doing aim on it. I was like, yeah, you and Bernie <laughs> both had them, I remember, in, in Paris Hilton. <laughs> oh, trifecta. Of the, the internet was so fucking slow on that thing. It's but it unbelievable. had the internet. Edge. Yeah, it was Edge. And it also iPhone was like, was edge. Yeah, you could like telnet into stuff or something. It had yeah, had, I, I bought a terminal app. A terminal app, yeah. <laughs> That's why I had it. Like, if whenever, wherever I was, if something happened with the Rooster Teeth servers, I could, I could connect to them remotely via my sidekick. Yeah. I had little scripts on there to fix stuff. I had a razor. I remember, I guess I got it in like 2005. It was, I bought it like with my money from like my first job out of college. What was the job? I worked for Golfsmith, RIP. They've since gone bankrupt. They're a Ooh. major golf because you don't work e commerce there site. Pretty much. Oh. It was uh, based in North Austin. What was, was like, your role? I was the internet content editor and did all the product pages and stuff. Oh, damn. Fair yeah. play. That was your first job? Yeah. It was I worked a, at a Burger King. It was a good... Yeah, I worked in a supermarket. Well, wait, wait, wait. First job out of college. <laughs> oh, so, oh, yeah. Oh. Like, I definitely had, like, student jobs and stuff. Yeah. Gotcha. I was, I was like, I was I like a dental, I was a dental assistant assistant where I, like, 
threw away bloody teeth and gauze. It was real <laughs> gross. Yeah. Did anybody ever ask to keep the teeth? I don't think so. Like someone not involved. I, in I, the wasn't, I wasn't. I wasn't client facing, so I, I don't know. They might have pocketed them before you, I. Uh, Rick's here did to pick up those teeth. I was, like, I was like the jizz mopper on a porn oh. set. Like, oh. just, if, yeah. if a dentist extracts a tooth of yours, can you ask to keep it? I'm sure, I'm you, sure can. you can. Yeah, some people keep their wisdom teeth. Do they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Some people have them. I'm sure you can. I'll ask next time. <laughs> Ask like him to extract something just to see if you can keep it. Yeah, what about I don't really like, need this guy. So you have like a about. surgery. Like let's you have, you have appendicitis and they remove your appendix. Can you keep the appendix? Probably not. Ooh. There's probably something about like human body parts. Yeah, I think they have to be discarded in those like bio I think that's waste. bullshit that you can't keep it if you opt in. It's your body. <laughs> right, yeah. you carried it with have... you for years. <laughs> Maybe they were Although, like what people will do with them. They will let you take your placenta home after giving a giving birth. So. What did you do with yours? Mm. I, th- it's in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> why'd, you even, why'd you even let them give it to you? Why don't you eat it? No, they did. They, they, with all the other waste that they took off the table. Just Isn't sh- there oh, like good you. stem cells near the umbilical cord and all that shit? We did cord blood, cord blood banking. That's different. So they like cut the umbilical cord and then like drained its contents into this special vial and then a courier came and picked them up and overnighted them to this <laughs> Storage facility in Arizona, and there were all these steep rocks that he had to get over. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to deliver a pizza in Death Stranding. <laughs> you, I couldn't tip the Is container over. <laughs> yeah, you have to have it flat. Yeah, you have to keep it flat the whole time. It is a thirty-minute time quest. Speaking That's of, stupid. Speaking of humans, humans' body parts, I heard a story, and I don't know if there's any truth to this, but it was a story of this girl who had been talking to this guy on Tinder or some dating <clears> app, <throat> and he invited her over for dinner. And she came over, he made dinner for her, they ate, they had a good time, and then she started feeling really sick, so she left to go home, and she started feeling more and more sick throughout the night that she went to the hospital, and they had to, like, pump her stomach, because there was something seriously wrong, and she woke up the next morning, and there were police officers in her room, and apparently, they found out through, like, having to pump her stomach and do all this stuff, that she had been fed human flesh. Shut up. Or, like, parts of a human. And it was, like, making her sick. So, like, the guy she went on the date with essentially cannibal gave her human to eat. Was that the previous date? Maybe. (laughs) I don't know. So, does human make you throw up? No. Not normal. (laughs) Yeah, just from experience. Probably would make you sick. So, I, I read about it. Like, I don't think it would necessarily make you sick, but... I think the biggest potential risk is that there's some like brain prions amoeba or something like more prions. (laughs) It's like more easily transmitted through human meat. Yeah, it's proteins that are folded the wrong way. They get in and they unfold all your existing protein. What? Well, you gotta like fold and iron your proteins. How does that work? It's like. Okay, I'm, I'm not a biologist. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna <laughs> I get this you're incredibly just like wrong. talking about like random alien prion. conspiracy theorists. It's like all of your proteins are folded one way. A prion is like the same kind of protein, but it's folded the opposite way. So like when it comes into contact with the correctly folded ones, it unfolds them, then refolds them the wrong way. So basically, all of the protein in your body gets unfolded and refolded the wrong way. And what are the side effects? <laughs> what does that mean, though? What does that do? It, you get just a mirror image of yourself. You, it, <laughs> your brain falls apart before. What? Uh, it's like literally shit, falls apart? Away? I think it like, it does, it do, it stops working. Is that the same, that, like causes like the twitching? I think mm. it can. Yeah. God, I so is that, is that why like mad cow disease for, was from cows eating cows? Is it the same, yes, similar essentially, thing? Yes, essentially, yeah. And I, I, it's more prevalent if you eat brain matter is what the problem is. And that's what was happening with cows. Are you happy you're a vegan at this point in time? <laughs> oh yeah, did you eat meat yet? No, still still vegan. What are you now? Four, like you're over a month. Four and a half weeks or so. Damn, dude. Mm-hmm. What if I just unfolded surprised. and refolded one of your proteins? Would you be all right? No, I think it spreads. <laughs> I think once, once you get it, like it slowly continues to spread. Uh, okay, there, just blah, blah, blah. Uh, prions. Prions refer to abnormal pathogenic agents that are transmissible and are able to introduce abnormal folding of specific normal cellular proteins called prion proteins, uh, usually found most abundantly in the brain. Uh, the abnormal folding of the prion proteins leads to brain damage, the characteristic signs and symptoms of the disease. Prion diseases are usually rapidly progressive and always fatal. 
So, so don't get a prion. Yeah, it unfolds and refolds your brain, and then you die. All right. On that note, <laughs> well, don't eat Let's human flesh. Let's go have some flesh. dinner. Hmm. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this episode of the podcast. Make sure you click one of those videos down below. Uh, click also on the bell to get notified anytime we have a new video. Also, you should leave us a comment. We're curious. We talked about some of the first video games we ever played. What are the first video games you remember playing? Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know how old you were and maybe what game it was. And uh, we're just curious. Tell us. Now. <laughs>